Well, you wouldn't stop here. Oh, wow. my goodness. Look at that. That is just unreal. Good thing. They're just absolutely cooked. George and Gordon are faring little better. Their boat's being dragged back against the current. If it flips, they'll lose their kit. The team battle to regain control. Somehow, they manage to hold on. Very deep, you're right. Really deep. You'd be amazed at how strong it was. You think it's in control, and then suddenly the, the current just takes the boat. <clears throat> yeah, you really have to be careful out there. There are three sets of falls. Every item of kit must be hauled over land. The support team consists of an ex-military medic, one cook, five boat drivers, and a jungle guide. Who's got a machete? They are leaf cutterettes. This is exactly similar to what we've been doing, actually carrying heavy loads of food and boats up and down the jungle. Yes, this is very similar. Some of the smaller worker ants are hitching a ride. Because there are small flies who fly over the swarm here, and they actually try to lay their eggs in the heads of the ants who are, who are holding a load. And so what's evolved is this very smart trick where the very smaller workers actually sit on the leaf load and fend off the flies as they come in. So it's, it's a really smart trick. And if you see a, an ant which has had an, a fly egg in its head, the, the fly egg hatches and grows inside the head and eventually the ant's head just falls off, <laughs> just drops on the ground and rolls away and a fly hatches out of it. That's the last of the kit. So only three boats there. And we're done. In more ways than one. It's the hottest part of the day, and the worst job is still to come. Dehydration and exhaustion are a real danger. He's just awesome to watch. Like a spider just scampering up the wall. John Aaron is a legend in the climbing world, but even he is finding it tough. Looks like one or two hard moves and then it's then it's done. But they could be quite hard. That's a bit loose. Is it within my grade? Yeah, but not by much. Steve has climbed some of the world's highest mountains, but this first ascent of Mount Apuigma wow. is pushing his technical skill and stamina to the limit.
Yo, right, Steve. Ah, uh, just came off. Sorry, John. Can you get on again? <laughs> It's impossible for him to climb up the rope with his bare hands. For the moment, he's well and truly stuck. 250 meters up. On three. Five. One, two. They've been dragging Kit through the forest for eight hours. They've saved the worst until last. That's a good one. Hit it at the top! Steady, steady, steady. At last, they've made it. Reaching paradise was never going to be easy. <sighs> Straight away, this river seems rich in wildlife. Was that what I thought it was? A giant otter? Oh, yeah, 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 they're right there. Then it comes, lovely. Oh, there's three of them. Giant otters make a beeline for the water to check out the strangers. So what, we're only two hours on the rewind? We're already seeing big, classy animals? Yeah. Absolutely. This is really unspoiled. What a thrill to be, what, 15 feet from a giant otter. None of the animals seem concerned about the newcomers. A bit forward, a bit further forward. Capybara, the world's largest rodent in this world of giant animals. That is the biggest rodent. It's about the size of a small dog. A big dog. The size of a big dog. He seems incredibly relaxed, doesn't he? He's sweet. We're very close to him, actually, and he seems pretty Unconcerned. See around every corner as a surprise. Macaws. That's the first time I've actually seen them in full colour in the sun because they're always flying overhead, so all you see is a, a dark shape. So if you don't actually see them in the sun, you don't get that fantastic blue and gold. They are stunning. Really beautiful. Wingspan about that. About that, Gordon? Yeah, yeah. Mm. They're big. Big birds. They're a Head parrot. It's a parrot species, and it's the one that sort of pirates most frequently have on their shoulders in cartoons. Arr. Gordon lad. Speak. Since George and Gordon visited this area, plans have been announced to log some of the trees in the forest. The future of the wildlife is now uncertain. Have you got it, Gordon? They could be the last biologists to record the animals in the forest's pristine state. As they journey deeper, they hope to find some of Guyana's most impressive creatures, powerful eagles, big cats, giant snakes. Now I'm in a real quandary. Steve is still dangling 250 meters up in thin air. The team is preparing to get him back on the rock face. He's handed a device to help him climb back up the rope. Okay, here he comes, mind your hands as well. Just take all your hands away from the blue rope. Hold your head, here she comes. 